Today I'll be showing you how to master the CC particle world on After Effects so without any jibba jabba let's get on with it. So CC particle world is basically an inbuilt thingy in After Effects which does just that. It adds particles to your clip to either make it more alluring or to add more movement to the background. Now to use this you need to add it to a solid layer because if you add it to the main clip itself the clip will become transparent and all you will see are the particles. That's why I have a clip right here. I'm gonna add a new solid layer. It can be of any color that doesn't matter. Now you look at this and you go what the hell I do not want this firework on my clip. Now to control that what you need to do is basically this the birth rate controls the number of particles that are on the screen. I usually go for 0.3 but you can tamper with it the way you want it to. Longitivity I don't really tamper with because that's just not something that I like. If you want to change that however you can do that. The producer is the place where you kind of stretch out the particles more so I usually go for 0.725 in all the radius x y and z. Now that that is done the physics include the direction in which the particles will be moving the velocity is how they will be coming towards you and the gravity is how they will be going downwards their direction. Now you can either go for zero in both of them or you can change it in the way you like it. I usually go with zero when it's something other than the lines. Particle is where you change the type of particle you want. Right now it's lines and because the velocity and gravity is zero, it's just showing up as dots. If I change it to stars, here you can change the color. There will be a color grading thing here. I'm gonna go with green and blue right now just because they're my favorite color. I do not mess with other of these stuffs, but if you want to, you are free to. Now the extras is where you add the rotation. Now if you add rotations to the solid layer, nothing will happen. It'll be like this. You do not want that. For the rotations to work, you need to go into extras, effect camera, and here you can do anything you want. It looks much more better when you add it to a solid background where the clips are moving. I will show you examples of this in my edits that I have made. And that's basically it.